Mono Red goes brrrr, that's right, we got that here today for you with Mono Red Aggro, a 60% win rate list here, and a couple of different changes for the Lost Caverns of Ixalan, excited to break it down for you here today, so thank you for tuning in. Down below you'll find the timestamps as we walk through the strategy objective of this list. We'll go play that competitive magic as we do in standard best fun and pull it all back together for a retrospective outtake. Now, if you happen to have a question or comment along the way, do let me know and feel free to come swing by the Discord server and join our active community there. All right, so here's what we got going on. Mono Red Aggro. Obviously, this list has been a key contender in the main meta right now um, for some time. However, a couple things. This one's a little bit different, which is why I wanted to cover it. Um, we do still see it at a 60% win rate, which is nice. And we squeak in NT here. So um, this card's really, really cool. Whenever you attack, you may discard a card. When you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on target attacking creature. Gains tr uh, trample until end of turn. Now, when you discard one or more cards, exile the top card of your life you may play that card until the end of your next end step perfect now this thing is really really nice because it can help you smooth out your hand which we typically don't see in mono red and then additionally you can take advantage here of Valderin epicor um, when you flip out that blood token again it says whenever you discard one or more cards exile the top card of your library so you can take advantage of these two in a combo, which is great. Um, so that's certainly something nice to have and nice to see. Another big component that we do see in this particular meta is Witch Stalker Frenzy, um, giving us an advantage to plow through our opponents and also um, not only on the attack, but when they attack in. Um, again, this thing costs one less to cast for each creature that attacked this turn. So giving us that five damage pretty much clearing anything off the board that you're going to need, particularly in this fast list. Now, a couple of other key pieces here. We still have Felden as a one-off. We're running a little lesser of the Monstrous Rage, which personally for me, I really, really like this card. Um, I would consider continuing to run four of. Um, I would actually maybe cut Felden as an example, but you're going to lose another one in that two-drop slot. Um, NT could be good. There's a couple of other ideas that you can certainly use. Um, however, again, this thing is a beast nonetheless. And then it does not run a ton of Mishras. Um, it does run a Murex as well. So something a little bit different with this one, um, which is great. So really strategy objective of the list is mono red wins or red deck wins. Um, you want to keep the pressure on, keep your opponent on their feet. Just keep going for the damage and bring it home. So let's go ahead and do that here today um, and get our matches underway for you. And again, if you got a question, if you got a comment, certainly let us know um, because we love to hear from you and come through by that Discord server. All right, so here's what we got going on. First match, nice and fast. Mono Red is certainly a big played list in the meta. Uh, so don't forget that. And if you haven't, probably haven't. Um, we'll keep this for now. There we go. Depending on what they play, I like to do to the face, but depends on what obviously they're going to run here um, and what we need to consider uh, with our opponent. Ooh. Now, obviously, we can't hit that human. Well, we could hit it if we wanted. I'm probably going to take it off just so they don't keep getting that life because we definitely don't want that um, becoming a problem for us. We'll make this a little bit bigger. Now, mono white humans can be a problem because of that life gain. Now, it might not be mono white either. Ooh. All right. I'll hold out. Flash. Ooh, they did not play that. They didn't want to double block there. Ooh, it's not mono white. There we go. That's a problem.
We got a few things that we're going to need to consider here. Um, I'm going to go for the damage. Because we can get all this stuff over the top. There we go. So six in the air. Uh, we can block Adeline here. A few different things depending on what our opponent plays. Gonna want to block. Otherwise, that could be close to lethal. They're gonna block it regardless. Ooh, but we could hit it on the return. Ooh, see, good math. Good math for us here. Good news is we can go over the top. Okay, we'll go to the face. And we will pump. We did it. Nice. Perfect. Good, good run there for us. Did not see our newcomers in the list. However, solid nonetheless. All right. <clears throat> Let's claim that. On to our second match here. NT, can we get you? We'll find out. Look at these caverns here. Perfect for mono red. Now, if we would have left that life gain on, we would have been in a problem, problem state. We're going to keep this. Get that monk on. Monastery Swift Spear. See? Monk. Human monk. You didn't know. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, let's do this first. Five color. Four color control. We'll find out here. I like to spread my team out on this in particular. We have that. All right, three life gain. Go find a land. We'll find out. Interesting play. Interesting play, my friend. Gopery! We can deal with that. We can deal with that. There's another one. Ooh, and we have our buddy here. I feel like we do this and just keep going for the damage for now. There we go. Now we got three to the face on the next one. Yeah, that was the one thing, won't lie, I was a little worried about, but we're gonna be okay. As long as they don't gain life.
When are they gonna play? The question here. All right, one. Down to one. Let's do it with the chicken. Just to get them nicely. <laughs> yes! <laughs> chicken to the face. There we go. Five color, four color, control. Controlled with mono red. All right. We still haven't seen our body. Come on. Let's do it. This one. I feel it. We did see one buddy, though. We saw Valderon. So, that's fair. Now, obviously, if you're running four rows, you would see it. That's one consideration that you could make. Um, is going four of those. Get rid of the Veldon, all that stuff. We'll keep this. It's just a solid hand, even though we didn't get into. Ooh, look at that. Slight misplay on our side. Little bit of a misplay. So we should have played both those and hit Monstrous Rage. That is okay. We'll hopefully come back. Let's see what they do. We'll take that off the board. A lot of damage there. So if we would have hit it right, the last one be very close to lethal. So this is a nice little tempo list. So the key here is, do we have lethal with this? So these will go to six, um, add two plus, so eight, nine. So if we play this, this will be, like I said, so six, and then um, we'll get a plus one, plus one. So it could be uh, eight, six, seven, Plus that's nine, that's not gonna go through. If we drop it on this, this will become, this will get six, this will go to a two, four. So a little bit less still, you're gonna drop this off. This is probably the better play here. Plus the one, there you go. Now, we would have had lethal already, by the way, if we had gone the other route. We could play this, we could go attack in. Swing in with both. And we'll go to the face for the game. There we go. No NT though. But we are good. So again, a little bit of misplay on the third one. If we would have played that right, probably would have been game over already. Um, but that is okay. Actually, the math would have still probably been similar. Um, but that's okay. All right. So there we have it, my friends. Let's go back. We didn't see NT, unfortunately. 
Um, however, we do three matches and we play them as they are. So again, just to go back to what the way that this would work is if you discard something, you get that exile. So we get some card advantage. We did see uh, Voldaren, so they pair very, very well. Um, and then additionally, you're going to get that plus one, plus one on the target attacking creature. It's going to gain trample and all those things too, which can give you a good ability to go over the top. Uh, one consideration or a couple considerations you may want to think about actually dropping Squee. Um, even though it's a great trigger for uh, Godric there, um, that could be some some considerations. Um, I still like the Witch Stalker, but you could go very, very aggressive as well and remove those um, and go the Inties just to go over the top and get stuff bigger uh, as an option and then keep the Monstrous Rages on there too as another example and go more creature based. So giving you some other ideas there in terms of your mono red list, something that's a little bit different. Um, in terms of what's what's going on and what's happening with the mono red aggro so with that i hope you enjoyed today's episode um despite our not getting into for you so uh with that um if you got a question if you got a comment do let me know i'd love to hear from you again this is a 60 percent win list from untapped uh, and additionally there, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for swinging by today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. On top of that, um, I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we grow an amazing community here. On top of that, thank you to all the members as always. Um, we do have memberships available, so go ahead and check those out. Something there for everyone, emotes, icons, all kinds of cool stuff. If you're looking for cards and those things too, I got affiliate links. You can check those out. Um, appreciate that support. And additionally, we do have... Um, other great ways to stay connected and up to date on all things magic so with that we'll see you again soon until next time we've got a ton of great magic the gathering content here on the channel for you and more coming all the time may your mono red list do as well as mine today crush it despite not gaining into however hopefully you get into working in your favor with that see you again soon take care